This year's sugarcane harvest has been bountiful in terms of sugar, but has been plagued by muddy conditions since the start. The crop is a big one in terms of tonnage, and getting it all out under adverse conditions has come with a high price. The conditions have been extremely costly, uh, from fuel consumption to labor input um, to repairs and maintenance. It has went through the roof due to the weather conditions. Sugarcane is planted once and the crop is cut and allowed to regrow or stubble out for three or four seasons before the field is plowed and replanted. Blair Abair, an LSU Ag Center agent for sugarcane, believes there will be more cane planted than normal because of the harsh harvest conditions. Because of the damage that was done to it, I think farmers are going to make some decisions and plow that out. So in 2019, there's a high possibility that we're going to see more cane planted than a, than a normal year. Gosselin estimates he used an extra 25,000 gallons of fuel because of the muddy harvest conditions. He is concerned the weather may harm next year's crop because farmers have been unable to burn some of the residual harvest material in a timely manner. You can burn it in the spring. It's not as good as burning in harvest season, but a mild winter like now that we have, and you want to get that trash off the row, get that row dried up really good to get that, that, that return a, a really fighting chance to stubble out and get your production for next year. The silver lining to all this mud? Producers could have a crop equivalent to last year, which was a record in terms of total sugar produced. While the farmers are having to deal with all these treacherous conditions of getting in the mud, getting uh, equipment torn up, tearing up their fields, they're bringing a good crop. In the spring, farmers will have to fix damage done to their field roads and their drainage ditches. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.